Hey everyone, especially fellow Narnians. Welcome back to another episode of a new series on my channel that I started four months ago, <laughs> which was back in January, and it is me reacting to The Chronicles of Narnia, the BBC TV show. So this is going to be episode two, as you can probably tell from the title. If you have not seen episode one yet, Here's what the thumbnail looks like, and I'll leave an annotation to it at the end of this video and a link in the description down below to it. That way you can watch the first one before watching this one. But the first episode ended off on Edmund going into the wardrobe and meeting the White Witch for the first time. So this episode is obviously going to be White Witch centered, and so I decided since, well, last video I wore my new Narnia t-shirt, and this video I decided to try to wear something kind of like the White Witch inspired to get the theme of the episode into my video at the same time. So yeah. Anyway, I didn't actually mean to have that much space in between episode 1 and 2 for my videos. I was gonna do one in May but a lot of things in my personal life and my family's life actually were not going so well and um yeah so I took all of May off of not doing any videos because I really wasn't in the mood to. I was going to try to make one every couple of months so that way it's not too stretched out because I also have other videos in between the reaction videos too so to get a different variety of content for everyone to watch and I enjoy making the variety of content too. So this month, June, and then hopefully the third episode will be out in maybe August. So anyway, let's continue on with my rewatch of the Chronicles of Narnia, the BBC TV show. So apparently in the book, and someone actually corrected me on this, on the, my previous video in the comments, that there are, are actually two reindeer in the book as well, so thank you for that. <laughs> Excuse I beg your pardon, me. How do you know? <laughs> your Majesty. Not know the Queen. Uh. What are you? What are you? Are you a great overgrown dwarf that has cut off his beard? I'm a boy. <gasps> a boy? Do you mean you are a son, son of Adam? Of Adam? I see you are an idiot, whatever else you may be. Answer my question once and for all, or I shall lose my patience. I do know are that. You? One thing they got right in this is like oh, yes, your Majesty. how they brought and the book to life, obviously. To enter my dominions. Please, your Majesty. In the book, I the White Witch is very order. dramatic like that, and they got it spot Why? on. Especially the actress is just like, just oh my gosh. I'm just gonna fight it so funny, though. Kill him or move, turn him to stone. Sit by me on my yeah. And I will wrap a mantle around you. Mm -mm. And we will talk. No, thank you. <laughs> Interesting how they did it when he's just sitting on the sleigh like that instead of actually sitting right next to her, like in the book and in the movie. I guess it's just they didn't have a big enough sleigh or whatever, enough not enough room for both of them to sit on there. Lucy, how brave of you to come back. Come in. Come in. I do like how they actually showed Lucy going back to Mr. Thumbness. They didn't do that in the movie, but they referenced it, like Perhaps hinted at that they something did. Something hot to drink, should you like? Yes, please. Your Majesty. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Help. Sorry. The innovation and all that, I know it was great for the, its time, but yeah. I'm just not used to seeing it. Ah. You know, 
People always say that the Turkish delight is oh, yes, enchanted, yes, which I know it is, but right down to my toes. I would think the hot cocoa or the drink or whatever was is definitely enchanted too. Turkish delight. Turkish delight? It shall be. Mm. Mm. Oh boy. Okay, I don't remember if that actually happened in the book. I can't remember that. Oh my gosh. I guess in a way it made it more magical or whatever to uh, do it that way. I have a sister. Well, in fact, I have a brother and two sisters. Two, three, four, four. Mm. Uh oh, <laughs> for her. It's all gone. What? It's a lovely place, my house. No, it's not. Except for one thing. I have no children. I would okay. so much like a nice boy. I could bring up as a prince. Bring them another time. But once in my house, you will forget everything. No! No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Go back to your own country now and come to me another day. If your sister has met one of those fawns, she may have heard nasty stories about me that might make them afraid to come. Yes, they're true. Don't say anything, you know. It's on my way home. Oh my gosh. See, that's why I mean of her being over dramatic. Oh. It's all that enchanted Turkish delight. <laughs> and just being the presence of the white witch too. She's still playing hide and seek. And and I wish I'd stayed there. It was much nicer there with him than it is here with you. I don't think we should worry mother. Certainly not. Yes, 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 um. yes. Yes. <laughs> Professor Diggory Kirk or Kirk. Peter and Susan. I think it's Kirk. <laughs> Which is the more truthful? Oh, and that's just a funny thing. Sir. Lucy. I don't know. I'd have said Lucy every time. Mm -hmm. In general, I'd say the same as Peter. But well, this couldn't be true. A magic country and a wood and a fawn. Well, that is more than I know. But a charge of lying against somebody who always found <laughs> truthful is a very serious thing. But then... Oh, logic. Why don't they teach logic <laughs> in these schools? There are only three possibilities. Either your sister is one, telling lies, or two, she is mad, or three, she is telling the truth. One, you say that your sister never lies. Two, yeah. it is perfectly obvious she is not mad. So for the moment, until any further evidence turns up, we must assume three. Yes. I love him. <laughs> How could it be true, sir? Sir, if things are real, they are there on the time. Mm. But Lucy had no time to have gone anywhere. Not Even exactly if there was true. such a place. She, it was less than a minute. But she pretended she'd been away for hours. That is the very thing which makes her story most likely to be true. If there really is a door in this house that leads to some other world, <laughs> and I must warn you, this is a very strange house. Even I know very little about it. I would not be at all surprised if that other world had a time of its own. Yes. However long you stay there, it will never take up any of our time. He knows all too well of that. <laughs> I don't think that Just read the magician's nephew. You. He's been to two of them. <laughs> Narnia is one of them. So can you guess which one is the second one he's been to? Let me know in the comments down below to get the answer right. The country starts with a C. I have told 
told you, you are to keep out of the way whenever I have people in the house. Shoo! Doing a tour of the house, yep. Just like in the book, obviously, Susan and Lucy went to Peter and Edmund and told them and, yep, tried to go and hide from them. Get out of sight, so that way, that way they don't get in trouble again. That never, obviously, they took that out in the movie, so it never happened. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa, okay, but that's also true. It's like they wanted it to be true, but it couldn't be true because of logically the best stuff just doesn't happen. <laughs> because it I guess it kinda it doesn't in real life, but it, <laughs> uh nothing's impossible. <laughs> Days? Whoa! I didn't even realize it was days. I thought it would have been like only a day. <laughs> is there a message on it? Yes, there is. But I can't read it in this light. Is under arrest and awaiting trial on a charge of high treason against Her Imperial Majesty Jardis, Queen of Narnia. Wait, wait, wait. Chatelaine of Empress of the Lone Islands, etc. Is that in a different also, language or something? Because it does not look like. How would it be? Oh, it's not in a different language, it's the font of that. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? So that was my reaction to the second episode of the Chronicles of Narnia, the BBC TV show. This definitely had a lot more things for me to like comment on than the first episode. It definitely can spark some uh, conversations in the comments down below. I guess what I could say is like what you guys thought of the episode. If you want to see the full episode as well, like, in its entirety, like the full episode, then I will be leaving a link to that in the description down below and then come back to this video and then leave a comment saying what your thoughts are and what your favorite part of it was or what's your least favorite part of the episode and all that. I just thought that how dramatic they did make the White Witch just like C.S. Lewis did in the book was really well done and it just makes me laugh. I mean, for the White Witch in the movie, she scares me a bit. Like, uh-uh, no thank you. But for this, they did really well, especially with the actress. And the whole conversation with Professor Diggory Kirk, even though he just goes by the Professor Kirk, I love Diggory so much, and when he's older and wiser, and with the whole conversation with them, it just changes their perspective on what Lucy has been saying led to be true and actually have faith in her and believe her when she actually does say that I did see a magical world in a wardrobe and all that. That's like one of my favorite scenes within the book, within the TV show, and even in the movie. Yeah, so I think that's it. I hope you all enjoyed my reaction. Hopefully the third episode slash my video uh, will be up in the next couple of months. In the meantime, if you want to see more Narnia videos, I have a whole playlist of all Narnia videos that I've made. I will be leaving a link to that in the description down below as well and an annotation to it at the end of this video. If I can actually brighten up your day with one of my videos, then it genuinely brightens up my day. Like, 
I love making people happy and making their day, helping them in any way they need help. Just I love helping people as well, but it's just like if one of my videos actually makes you laugh or smile or just entertained in a happy, good feeling kind of way, then that makes me happy to know that my videos are actually helping you with making your day a little bit brighter, especially if you had a bad day. So anyway, if you did like this video, then please subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed, then hit that bell next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever I post a new video. And if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a like. And I hope you all have an amazing day. I love you all so much. And look out for my next video, which will be coming out sometime soon or next Friday. <laughs> Bye everyone, especially my fellow Narnians.